Scottish Highlander cattle. They come in three color phases, and we've got all three. Um, blondie on the end down there is uh, the white phase. The dark ones are typically from further north, I think, in uh, the Hebrides and in Scotland. And then the color that most people think of is this reddish brown color. And um, this is a new calf that was just born a few days ago. This is the papa here. Yeah, what do you think we're going to give you, huh? So these are grass fed. Um, we don't believe in feeding them with a lot of corn and stuff like that. And uh, you know, obviously they're raised for the meat. We're not milking them. I mean, theoretically you could, but most people don't raise them for milk production. And in Scotland, people in the wintertime would actually move them right into part of their houses and their, their living structures. And they, they'd move right in with the, with the family in some cases. Oh, you're hooked up here. Um, but it's not like they can't take the cold weather. So they've actually got a double coat of fur in the wintertime which not all cattle do, but this northern breed does. And they can take cold weather pretty well. Um, you gotta watch cold freezing rain, as you would with any cattle, can, can be a bit of a problem, but um, you know, these guys are pretty hardy as far as the weather. The deep snow gives them a little bit of trouble because, um, as you can see, they're not very tall. They're probably only, what, four feet at the shoulder, something like that but they're very rugged. Typically though, they're pretty docile and friendly with people. And you can see that these guys certainly are. 